Now let's look at uh, some of the trade allocation practices that are generally followed. Right, whatever are the client trades that are there, the allocation of those client trades can happen, let's say, on an ad hoc basis. If, see, uh, uh, even when it is happening on an ad hoc basis without a proper, fair and objective method of allocation, that itself will lead to some kind of uh, violations especially with respect to handling the client or probably the duties towards the client with respect to fair dealing of the client fair dealing with the client under the section 3b of the professional standards of conduct as per the cfa institute because it has been observed that there are two major motivating factors which could be the inputs for the portfolio managers to allocate to allocate the trades to the various clients one could be based on the compensation arrangement which the portfolio managers have with their own clients. So that could form an important basis in terms of allocation of the trades or it could be the relationship with the clients that could have an impact. Now in both the cases there is a violation with respect to the fair dealing. 3b duty to the client fair dealing there is a violation from both because some clients are treated at a higher priority compared to the other clients but here i see even the loyalty prudence and care the section 3b 3a is also getting violated because here, the issue that may come is more compensation. The, the uh, clients would run behind the portfolio manager for paying more and more compensation. So, there could be a compromise in terms of, uh, uh, in terms of uh, the portfolio manager looking out for higher compensation. So, more compensation is what he is receiving at the expense of the regular asset based fee accounts so instead of uh, taking the fee on an asset based uh, kind of a mechanism he is charging more towards some clients and showing more favoritism to them so one it is violating the fair dealing mechanism and two even the loyalty and the execution of the duties towards a particular client and uh, acting in favor of one client at the expense of the other is getting very badly impacted here. The same logic when I am talking about uh, the relationship with the client, here also it may come that he is uh, violating if at all um, higher client relation, I mean if there is a personal relationship with the client, generally uh, because of the personal relationship, if the client is getting more favoritism compared to a professional relationship, then it's an issue. So that is where, in general, the client interest has to be above the individual's interest. The client interest has to be above the personal interest, whereas uh, when you are saying a few particular clients are getting more favoritism compared to the others, then it is happening in the reverse. So if I if I start maintaining a, a personal relationship with the client thinking that I will get more business from them or uh, more fees in the future and show more favoritism by allocating more trades to a particular client compared to the other, then again there is some kind of violation that is happening. So overall what I could see is on a fairness grounds, there is 
a clear violation that is coming up through this process. So, from that standpoint, it is suggested that to reduce all these things to a drastic level, the first important thing that should be looked at is allocation regarding the allocation of trades. Come up with a policy manual saying fair and objective method of trade allocation. So, how should the trades be allocated to the various client accounts? Come out with a procedure manual. Probably the easier way to look out for is a pro rata basis in terms of uh, the amounts that uh, are the, the worth of the portfolio of each of the clients. So, probably some kind of a mechanism like this. If possible, the new issues in the IPO distribute at the client level at each client rather than at a portfolio manager level. Right now in most of the cases we see that the distribution happens at a portfolio manager level whatever are the, uh, the new issues at a portfolio manager level that gets distributed and because of this the portfolio manager will use his favoritism in terms of allocating them on a biased manner to his clients. Rather than that, if the allocation of the issues happen at a client level directly for this client, this is the proportion, probably using this pro rata kind of a method. If something is allocated, it becomes more and more objectivity into the allocation process. And uh, if at all any interest, probably collect the interest of the client collect the interest of the clients in new issues well in advance so that there is no conflict of interest at a later point when the portfolio manager tries to have some kind of collusion agreement with the clients. So that way it becomes more and more uh, appropriate and make sure that your compliance officer investigates in terms of being fairness to the clients right let there be a quick call let there be a constant monitoring in terms of the fairness to the clients both in terms of uh, execution of the trades and the price at which the trades are executed do not give some undue advantage to some clients vis-a-vis -vis the other clients and make sure that the records are kept regarding all these kind of transactions all these records are reviewed periodically just under the objective of treating all the clients in an equitable manner. So today trade allocation to the clients is one of the challenging issues that is uh, facing the investment industry. So uh, uh, the required action has to be taken, required care has to be taken uh, to make sure that uh, uh, violations uh, with respect to the CFA code of ethics and standards of professional conduct are not uh, violated. All right. So this is uh, a brief about uh, the trade practices, the trade allocation practices. If you have any further queries regarding the same, you can get back to me by giving me a call on the number that I have provided below or you can send in an email at vamsizaretpaysgurus.com. Thanks a lot for listening to this uh, session. Thank you very much.